Wisconsin Badgers haven't played inside the Kohl Center since February 22nd of 2020. They finally get a chance to return to this ice surface this weekend as they open the season against Michigan Tech. I'm Brian Posick, the voice of the Badgers, and head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Happy to have Badgers head coach Tony Granato with us. And Tony, what a year it was last year. You win 20 games. You win a Big Ten championship, first regular season conference crown in 21 years. Badgers get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2014. You have the second Hobie Baker Award winner in school history in Cole Caulfield. So much fun last season. And unfortunately, the fans weren't allowed to watch. They will be able to watch this year. But great memories from a year ago. It was. We had a special team that accomplished a lot. You know, I look back on the year and and obviously everybody's life was kind of thrown upside down with everything that happened with COVID. But start of the year, we got players, Linus Weisbach stuck in Sweden, and he had plenty of opportunities to stay in Sweden, sign a pro contract there, and he's looking at what's going on in our country. And he, you know, for whatever reason, he jumped on that plane the day before school started, came back with the uncertainty on whether we had a season. Then we had Cole Caulfield that had all those contract offers to play professionally in Europe. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, both those guys stayed. And fortunately for us, you know, we gelled together as a team really right out of the gate. We had some hurdles with some COVID issues and some quarantine, you know, times that uh, guys got shut down. Uh, we lost Dylan Holloway for a big chunk of the first half of the season. Uh, but our guys, uh, just uh, what I really uh, admire about what they did last year, no fans. We weren't in this building. We were over at Le Mans. Um, they appreciated the opportunity to play. They played hockey as hard as they've ever played before. It didn't bother them that there were no fans. It didn't bother them that all the things that were going on uh, outside the world, you know, were affecting them. It, what mattered is they had a chance to play, and uh, they did a great job. We had a phenomenal year. You mentioned all of the things that we can brag about from last year's, but really, what I remember are the kids. How hard they played. How hard they played for one another. We lost a lot of them, but we got a lot of guys coming back that are be big parts of our season this year. And so we're really looking forward to getting back in this building, getting back in the crease creatures, the student section, the fans, the band, our boosters in this building to kind of show them, carry over what we did last year and, and, and try to put forth the same effort and the same energy and the same enthusiasm to play the game that we played with last year. Yeah, Tony mentioned Cole and Dylan and Linus, Ty Pelton, Bice, Ty Emerson all have departed. Ty was the captain last year. Tarek Baker is the captain this year with several assistant captains on the squad. Tyler Inamoto, Roman Ashan, Brock Caulfield and Dominic Mersch. Good group of leaders there. Great group of leaders. They're hardworking kids. What I really want our team to identify uh, was from last year's team uh, we weren't just a Cole Caulfield show or a Dylan Holloway show. The guys that we lost were obviously important pieces to the puzzle. They scored a lot of goals for us. But the reason we won was the character and, and the grit and, and the intensity that the other guys played with. And you mentioned the guys that are returning back. They all add something special to a locker room and to a team. And, and uh, we want to do the same thing we did last year. We're not going to win in the same way. It's, it's a completely different team. But there's, there's an opportunity for us uh, that, that we think that we have a special group that, that can bond together, play for each other, uh, and find ways to win by you know, grinding it out, being physical, uh, scoring some different type of goals than we scored last year. Uh, but, but we have the pieces to be able to do that. Yeah, last year, Wisconsin averaged four goals a game. The power play was 31.6%. Uh, the Badgers had the puck virtually all the time, one of the least penalized teams in the country. We'll see what this year's team looks like this weekend with Michigan Tech coming to town for the season opening series. More with Tony Granato here in a moment on the Badger Hockey Digest. It's Big Ten football. Camp Randall Stadium. If you think back to 1990, there's a fumble and it's recovered. Wisconsin was not the Wisconsin it is today. Benson has offered the position Barry Alvarez. When you take over a losing program, you have to change the culture. We're talking about momentum shifting. You can't do it with mirrors. You can't do it with tricks. This is a family. That's how you It's been a great ride. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Besides the fact Wisconsin put the puck away so much last season, the goaltending was really good too with Robbie Baydoon and Cameron Rowe. Robbie moved on, actually won an American Hockey League championship after he left uh, Madison, but uh, Cameron Rowe is back. You also have Jared Moe, a Minnesota transfer who's uh, on the squad now. Ben Garrity too. Goaltending we know is very, very important. Absolutely, and Cam Rowe last year uh, as a freshman, obviously you mentioned Robbie who departed. 
uh, was our starter to start the year. Uh, he came in with great experience, settled us down, had great leadership skills to go along with his goaltending. Uh, it really gave us a, a really good start. And what I really liked was his relationship with Cam. And Robbie helped Cam develop. He helped him settle in. So when we needed Cam, especially the second half of the year, his numbers were outstanding. He had a great start to his collegiate career. And, and we expect that to be a strength, of the, a, a position of strength with, with uh, like you said, Jared Moe transferring from Minnesota. He was their starter two years ago before LaFontaine transferred there. Uh, he's an NHL draft pick. He's a bigger goalie. Uh, and so we're, we're deep at that position. And, then, and when you know, coaches say we got to win from the net out, that's, that's always true. You got to be solid in the net and have good, good goaltending. You got to be real solid at the blue line. We've got great depth at the back end. And then you know, up front, I, what I said earlier is yeah. I think we've got four lines that are going to roll over, play hard, and we're going to have a lot of pace to our game. And that's what, uh, what I'm excited about. Yeah, and you got your first look at game action last Sunday in Chippewa Falls against Minnesota Duluth, a very competitive game. Bulldogs won 4-2, to two, but at least you have a, a better idea of what, not that you didn't, it, but you, it, you saw them in action against a very good team. It was a great team, and, and I thought it was an even game. You know, they got that empty netter late to make it 4-2, but really it was, uh, uh, you know, flip a coin on who, d who deserved to win the game. They found a way to get a couple of screen goals uh, by us to, 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 to be the deciding factor. But for the most part, uh, what I loved it was the compete. Uh, it seemed like the rink was as small as the area we're sitting <laughs> in right now, and you got 10 guys pounding each other, knocking each other down, and yeah. fighting for every loose puck battle. And I, so I think the introduction for 10 new players into our lineup was really important to kind of see how competitive the rest of the group was. And if you get a younger group coming in and, and players transferring in from different schools and you see the Bakers and the Mershers and the Ashans and the rest of our returning players, how, how hard they compete, the, the younger players understand that that's part of what our brand is and part of what the identity of our team is. So I thought that that was very apparent. I think the one player, Carson Bannell, a big, strong kid yes. that our fans are going to love, you know, he sustained an injury in the game. He probably won't play for a couple weeks, but I thought he was an impactful player, you know, the first period when he did play. Uh, so I think that there's some, some nice pieces that will be added to, to our returning players as well. Badgers have 28 players. They have 15 forwards, 10 defensemen, 3 goaltenders, and again open the regular season against Michigan Tech. We'll talk about the Big Ten as the weeks move along. You don't open conference play until the end of the month, but you've got a really good non-conference schedule with Michigan Tech, Army the following weekend. You go to St. Cloud State, Clarkson comes to town, a holiday face-off at Fiserv Forum. This is going to be some good hockey. It's going to be some great hockey, and you look at the, the rankings this week, and the, the teams we're going to play. <laughs> we just played Duluth. They're in the top four, and obviously Michigan and Minnesota are in the top four as well. Mm -hmm. We got them early in the schedule as well. So we'll find out a lot about our team early. Uh, I think our strength, again, will be the competitiveness that we've had, and if we can carry over uh, the momentum that we gained last year on having that team identity, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting for us. I know I'm excited and can't wait to get the, the fans back, like I said, and, you know, to, to get the people back in this building to appreciate Appreciate our team and, and our kids. It'll be, it'll be fun for everybody. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Brian. Sure. Tickets are available at uwbadgers.com. Wisconsin and Michigan Tech Friday and Saturday night here at the Kohl Center. Both games on the Badgers Sports Network, also on Valley Sports Wisconsin. For Tony Granato and Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.